so I'm doing this video here to kind of show you what I've been up to, all my projects that I've started, and my grand reveal at my very new, probably my favorite build so far. Uh, you'll see when you get there. But I just kind of bring you up to speed. So this is my Red Rocket build. Um, done a lot to it. There's a cement wall around the entire place. This is probably my most secure location. These fucking idiots will leave the damn gate closed. Pisses me off. I build in a secure fortress and you leave the fucking gate open. I mean, honestly, how stupid can yes. you be? But <laughs> on the cement wall all the way around this place, there's turrets all along the thing. It's really great. This place does frequently get attacked by ghouls, so the turrets come in handy. Um, and it's just really fun to watch a bunch of ghouls get blown up. In fact, I'm working on another video where that literally happens. I show up here. I was actually going to start this video, and the place got attacked, so I ended up doing a video about watching these machines kill the ghouls. It was pretty cool. Uh, but anyways, that's, all, that's a different video. Um, so this place, um, I want to add more to it. But in order to do that, I have to do the glitch to make more space in the build area. I've used my max number of items, but that's okay, I can do that. This was a trick I wanted to show you guys because it was shown to me. Red Rocket has doors. They're just inside the door jam. They're hidden. They're sliding doors. Just do what I'm doing here. Walk up to it. Click the X or the A or whatever system you have. I'm a PS4. I have X. But every door in this place has doors. You don't have to build them. It's pretty cool, actually. Um, I've got a shotgun turret there, and we're going to go to the next place. Uh, so this is Merc Water Construction Site. This is a place I've started. In fact, I've started it twice, and I just never finished it. Excuse me, I keep breaking. Bad pizza. <laughs> but, uh, so every time I start this place, I go to work on it again. Something happens, I get sidetracked with the mission, I run out of supplies. Here it is, unfinished like most of my places. My idea was to build over that water, which is what I'll do eventually. Uh, this is Tempine's Bluff, or Tempine's Bluff, however you want to pronounce it. I've got this mostly done. Um, actually, all my settlers were killed because I left this place alone so much. So what I did was I built a wall, a wall around most of it, added all these turrets here, built on the house, built them some water, facilities, and so far these guys have stayed alive. So that's a bonus. Uh, I put some lights on the inside. These yellow lights are my favorite. I just really, really like them. You know what I As you'll see day. later on in this video, I use them a lot. Um, just, I think they're fantastic. They're amazing. Uh, so this is Tepping's Bluff. Um, like I said, these turrets is what saved these villagers because these fuckers die all the time. <laughs> um, where am I here? Um, this one is... Oh, what's the name of this place? I don't remember this place. This is, but this is right. Oh, this is right across that highway right there in the back from Ten Pines Bluff. So this is real close to it. Um, I really haven't done much to this place than how I found it here. when I discovered this location. I added some flooring up here. Um, this is another place that's got some walls, but that's about it. Um, it needs a roof and it needs, well, it needs almost everything. Um, I did something kind of cool. Um, I really like. You'll see these trees up here in the background. I really like these trees. They add food to your property. I've lined the entire perimeter on this backside with those. I didn't want to build a fence, but I wanted something there to take your eye off the fact that, well, you're in a nuclear wasteland, so it, it, it adds some foliage, it adds some nice scenery, um, but it's unfinished. So this is my coastal cottage. I've started and stopped working this thing so many times. I, I just forget about the location up until I get a message from the minute and hey, coastal cottage is under attack, go save them. Um, this is a really kind of hard idea to concept much. or an idea to grasp on um, what I've started so here. I wanted to do something unique. Um, this is a building without a roof at the moment. Uh, the roof is what I need to do next. You can see all these beds are getting soaked. Um, I really wanted to play into what was already here when you first discovered this location, which of course is none of this wood. But what you have here is what's down here on the sub level. It's this is the house with the workbench right here. So what I've done is I put the, the little beacon in there and I built this little tunnel over here. Now this destroyed house, I didn't want to take away from this because over here to the left, there's like an underground little hole. And so I really wanted to play with that a little bit. Not to sound dirty or no pun intended. Um, I built around this. I went down here, I put, um, as you'll see in a moment, I put a box, I put a safe, I put a chest. Just some cool little things, you know, a little hideaway. I really wanted to 
accentuate this, I think is the word I'm looking for here. This little underground little area. So I built up and around it, essentially, is what I did. Um, like I said, the place still needs a roof. It still needs a lot of things. Um, one thing I've never actually added to any of my locations is a freaking toilet. I have the ability to build one. i just never done it. My very first build I did, I put a toilet, and it was the stupidest thing I did. I just wasted ceramic. So I never did it again. Um, put up some more plants out here. I really need to add more to this place. They need water. They need food. They're always getting attacked by super mutants with miniguns, which destroys them. And I need to go explore all that crap out there, because I've never even been to that location yet. But, anyways, uh, here in a moment we'll go on to the next place. Like I said, a lot of these are unfinished stuff that I've started, and I've forgotten about, that I really need to finish. But some of the projects I have completed, or I'm working on, are just so vast. Um, let's see, where am I right here? Oh, this is, uh, uh, my island, the, uh, not Sanctuary Island, but... Whatever the fuck. It's the island, okay? This is my biggest location, in fact. My most broad, huge uh, location. The island's the biggest place you can build on. You can go as wide as you want. You can go over the water. And you can go pretty damn high. This is a giant complex. And if you've seen my other videos, you've already seen this. But I've done some few upgrades to it. Um, I really wanted to highlight that. Um, one of my... A couple of my favorite things I've done in any of my builds are here at this location. So turrets. I've got turrets everywhere. What I've tried to do was every location that you could access my main house here, my main build, I wanted to put a turret. Um, this place gets attacked by raiders on occasion, um, but when it does get attacked, and it gets attacked by super mutants, when it does get attacked, it gets attacked hard. Now over there, you'll see some light. That's the crown jewel. That's what I want to show you last. Uh, so this is a common area. This is the second highest floor, also the third floor from the bottom. As you can see down into the, the living quarters, you can see down the first floor. It's got a couple pool tables, some ceiling fans, which I think are funny to add, even though I don't have walls. We got a um, basketball court, you know, soda machine, milk machine. Uh, we're going to go up here to the top, well, on the main floor, I suppose, the top floor. Um, this is your your maintenance section. Here's all my workbenches. Here's my scavenging stations. Um, I got two laser turrets over here for some uh, upper uh, security aiming down on everything as you can see my bridges that go out to that other my i call that my north wing you know I, I do believe that's like west i think but that's my other wing there's my artillery up there um that was the first thing i built i built like seven or eight ladders up there just to put that sucker i thought it'd be funny and i just kept it i thought it was cool these are my stores in fact this is the only location out of every location that i built to actually even put stores Eventually, I might do more other places with stores, but I don't even use those stores anyway, as it is. I just put them there because I thought it would add something to it. This place was pretty empty. Here's your kitchen area. Um, so what we're going to go now is what I call my penthouse. This is my bedroom. This is my space. Nobody goes up here but, except for when I bring Piper. Yeah. Anyways, my dog. I brought uh, dog meat over here from uh, Solitude. Or, I'm sorry, not Solitude. No, that's Skyrim. I do that every time. Sanctuary. I brought him in here from Sanctuary. My private pool table, my private jukebox. Uh, these are the magazines that I have found. I've got almost two racks full. As you can see, those little yellow lights, like I said, those are my favorite. Um, this is one of my trophy stations. All my little lunch boxes, death claw hands, things like that. Um, over here is my other one. I've accumulated a lot of stuff that I thought was pretty cool. Being military, I love those trifold flags myself. Um, this was my bar until some fucking computer guy knocked all that shit down. Uh, the toolbox has all my aid stuff in it. You know, extra stuff like that. The safe. It's got a lot of pre war money, cigarettes, gold, silver lockets. You know, stuff like that. It's my secret little cache eh, if I need it. Um... This chest here, this houses all my weapons, all my extra ones I'm not carrying. I've got, I don't know, a couple, probably a hundred some odd guns in there, some other shit. There's a lot in there. Um, and then all my bobbleheads. Um, I'm still missing quite a few, but I've got a lot. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. And then this is my bed, my double bed. Um, I'm a little upset because I don't have it centered underneath the flag, but I will add to that eventually. This is all my extra armor and clothes I've collected. Um, and art. You gotta have art. You gotta bring something to the space. You know, take your eyes away from the nasty ass walls. Um, these four corners of my bedroom, if you see my other videos, used to be open. 
Um, I didn't like that, because every time a freaking storm would come through, I'm up here chilling, right? And I'm getting radiated. And then I recently added this little lounge. Um, when I find me a nerd in this game to refabricate my character at PlayStation, he'll have some video games. Maybe an Atari. I really don't know what they had in the year 2077. But I want, I want to get him something, you know? So we're going to make a we'll go back downstairs. I've already showed you this floor. Uh, this is the main living quarters for the rest of my settlers. I believe I've got 26 beds in here. Each one has its own dresser. In fact, this is my only location that has that. These guys are pretty special. This was my first very large build. Uh, a lot of my properties tend to be the open floor plan, a giant box room, and I'll fill it in. Um, there's a YouTuber I watch, um, and he, he comments on that, how there's two types of builds. you got the people that build intricate, or intricate little houses or open floor plans like I do. Uh, this is the main floor. This is the very first floor. It's just couches. It's some tables. As you can see, this is the ground floor where the plants are growing up through it. I got two locations how to enter right here, which is why I have a turret right to my right. Right there. Boom. Like I said, I try to put a turret at every, every possible location. Um, before we go over this bridge, we're going to go down here real quick. I want to show you uh, my securities down here. That's my farmland over there. Right here, I've got a missile launcher, and I've got a... The second or the, the best automated machine gun sits right there. You know, the other ones, the tripod, it's okay. Um, I got over probably 200 different plants out there in that garden. Um, so we're going to take this walk over bridge here. That little metal, uh, back to the right, here we go, that one right there, that little round metal room, that's where the actual workbench is located on this island. Um, that's powered by the boat on the other side of the hill on the water. Once again, we have another turret. Um, we're going to go over here. I haven't done a whole lot with this upper part just yet. I'm not going to show you what's to my left. That's my crown jewel. If you have seen my other videos, you know it's already over there. But I've added to it. Uh, so this is my, my my outdoor full basketball court right here. My secondary artillery for this location. Um, a beautiful view of the bay. There's a supply guy right there about to walk across the water. Because... I don't know what the hell he thinks he's doing, but he's going to walk over there while his bull swims. Uh, right there is my second water plant, water treatment plant. Uh, if you see my other videos, you know that's my main source of income. You make enough water, you sell the purified water, they're worth 10 apiece. Another jukebox. I'm going to try to make a generator right here, but as you will see in a moment, I am out of copper. And therefore, I cannot make the generator to power my jukebox. But they've got one in the other side of the other wing over there, so they're okay. So here we come, my grand reveal of my crown jewel of this location. Three, two, After one, this, I can't wait turn to around and take a trade. look. My beautiful, beautiful suits of armor. Right here in the very front is my favorite one. As you probably know if you see my other videos, this is my X series armor. This one's got jetpack, it's got targeting, it's got calibrated, it's got bracers. This guy is a badass mother. Um, these are all my other random suits of armor I've collected. A 45 series. These are all mixed and jumbled pieces to put together. I'm missing helmets. I'm missing legs. I've got a bunch of them stored up in the workbench. I just had to repair them. I'm just too lazy. That's a vault tech paint. This is the Flames paint. Um, that's a military paint there. It's what I've got my X-Series in front. These two right here, I've actually, these are X-Series armor that I found randomly in the swamp. This one right here, I literally found as I was doing the tutorial early in this video, when I was showing you the, um, the Meyer Lurk, or the, uh, the construction swamp area, down in the southern part of the map. Yeah, he was out there, they were getting attacked. I saved the little part of the video I showed you, walked down there, and this suit armor was sitting by a down Pelican-looking vehicle, the flight thing for the Brotherhood. Okay. So here it is, the grand reveal, my crown jewel, what I've been working on all week. So I want to show you, I'm going to show you this during the day and at night. So as I turn around, yeah. here is the stairway to heaven, as I like to call it. Up there, up on the bridge, this is Grey Garden's location. I've been wanting to build here for a while. I finally, finally set my ass down and did it. I've been piecing this together for about a week now. So here it goes. I got the idea for the stone staircase from a guy he did a citadel build out of all cement over on the um the island spectacle island there 
sorry, as I was saying, I got cut off. Um, he did a cement build of a giant citadel type build, and he did a staircase similar to this, and this is where I got that idea. And he did his on Spectacle Island, where I'd build my giant wooden place I just showed you. That's where he did his. But this is Great Gardens, like I mentioned. These are my lines of the gate. Yes. Gatekeepers, as I like to call them. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to wait. Fast forward. Boom. It's night. Now you can really see this place shine. So I've got these trees. I wanted to do a kind of secret garden type Garden of Eden reveal. I wanted, as you walked up to the gates of this place, as you went to the house, I wanted you just, the garden opens up and bam, these stone lions here with the little yellow lights like I love. They go all the way up the staircase. So you've got missile launchers here. You've got turrets up there by the generators. And then above those, you've got lasers, I believe. That's where I put them. Yeah, I put the lasers up there. Huh? This place is good to go. I'm really waiting for it to get attacked. I want to see it fuck shit up. I really do. I will mention a million times, I love these little yellow lights. I think they just are perfect. Especially at night, the way they really shine. They illuminate, but they don't too much. And I just think they're awesome. Um, I really like the whole light your path kind of deal. So as we come up here, um, we're, we are now up to the old highway, which I've kind of bordered off. I thought about building into it like I've seen some other people do, but then I went against it. Um, I really love these lights, the lamps, the chandeliers. I've got turrets all over this place. i got a metal one there, machine gun. Over here to the right, at the end of this little walkway, You'll see those two laser turrets off the left. I've got another one right there facing me. If anybody comes up here that's not a settler, this place is going to tear them apart. You can see a settlement up there up the hill. And uh, just the views up here are incredible. Even at night, this place just lights up beautifully. So we're going to make our way upstairs. As you can see, i got yellow lights everywhere. I would put them up the stairs, but I won't let me. There's another super laser right there. Bam. Ready to shred people up. Yellow lights everywhere. Once again, I just, I love them. I can't get enough of them. So here we are. We're actually going to walk up here to the very top of the highway where I built the main house. As we come in here, I've got lights everywhere. I've got a TV, a lounge section. I really like my settlers to live comfortably. I really wanted this to be a nice place. Like I did for my penthouse, personally, at Spectacle Island, I wanted to do it for my settlers. So I've got a kitchen area here with a table, a lamp. I have these little signs. You know, to cover up the crappy ass walls. I wanted to get their attention away from that. I wanted this feel as nice as possible. So I've got paintings all over the walls here. I got settlers, I got a trash can. We've got a rotisserie, a stove. Because you know they gotta eat, you know? Um Family paintings of somebody's family. I don't know who the fuck they are, but you know, somebody. <laughs> a jukebox, you gotta have romantic music. I've got a pool table. There's no pool cues or pool balls on it now, but I will add those, trust me. Um, as you've probably seen in my other videos, I've got a pool table in almost every house. So here we are in the main living quarters. I've got, I don't know how many beds up here. I try to keep this room, this area lit, but dark at the same time for sleeping. I had this huge open space, so I didn't know what to do, so I threw a bunch of carpet down. But then over here, I put some picnic tables. And I put my two statues just to give it something extra, you know? And uh, what I thought would be really cool for this kind of build is to do a balcony up here. I wanted to be able to look down into the, the, the fun area downstairs. So I put all these flags up here. You've got the Commonwealth, the Brotherhood, the Minutemen flag. Um, unfortunately, I screwed up and didn't do the railroad long enough to get any kind of flags or decorations from them. But I got what I got. So this is it. This is the build. Um, I've got ceiling fans. you got to circulate the air. It gets stuffy, you know? The, the essentials. you got to have the essentials. Uh, I hope you like it. Leave me a comment, you know, if you like this build, if you want to see something else. Um, this was, like I said, this is about a week in the making. I've been working Someday, on this. I want to be really the best want to share it with you. Um, you know, it's funny, to be honest, you know, I've already seen these videos like three or four times trying to piece them all together. But I actually forgot what comes next. Oh, there you go. It's the end credits coming up here in a minute. <laughs> but uh, thank you for watching. Uh, for my nine subscribers, thank you very much. I love you guys. Uh, hit me, give me a like, give me a subscribe if you like what you see. Give me a comment if you want to see something different. If you want to see me showcase something, if you didn't like something, let me know. Uh, I can change my content accordingly. Uh, but thank you very much for watching. You all have a great night and enjoy.